anaweza kutadem ameshaanza MP. Sasa kwanza MP unaana trust mama yake. Hiyo ndio life yangu nilipitia best yangu same same thing. Mwenye ile experience akaenda kaambia mama yake. Anse mama yake alimwambia anamwambia mimi sikubaiwa na mama yangu. Hata wewe jipa jipa. Mara yangu ya kwanza nilipoanza period nilisi uchungu nilisikia vibaya kwa sababu nili, nilisi uchungu kwa sababu hakuna mtu mwenye aliwahi kuniambia kuwa itakuja na uchungu No one talks about menstruation in Kenya and many girls struggle with their periods each month eh, kulingana na na education system yetu hiyo curriculum haijatoa <coughs> ufahamu wa kutosha kuhusiana na mambo ya hedhi sababu wasiana wengi bado wana wana ile hofu wanapopata zile hedhi zao utaona pale pale huwa anamuita na mzungumzia mwanzo The silence for menstruation in Kenya means girls are often unprepared for their periods and don't know how to adequately manage them or access pads but more than this when they are going through these difficulties there's no one they can ask for help so they suffer in silence confusion about what is happening to their bodies and why can lead to feelings of shame yani wengine huwa anaanza kuwa na tumbo anaenda kwa mwalimu anamuelezea anamwende nyumbani menstruation is a normal biological process and all girls have the right to receive support and understanding but this is not yet a reality in Kenya and many other countries around the world globally Hundreds of millions of women and girls do not fully participate in society because they lack ways to manage menstruation. It's hardest for girls living in poor or rural communities whose menstrual health and hygiene needs are often unmet because of gender inequality, discriminatory social norms, cultural taboos, poverty and a lack of basic services. Those left furthest behind include girls and women with disabilities. refugees those who don't have a toilet at home or at school those in prison or homeless and girls who are not in school Research has shown that 65% of menstruating girls and women in Kenya cannot sustainably access sanitary pads. Sasa nimeka wiki moja bila kwenda shule ya MP. Sasa ya kuogopa jinsi na pads. Most girls rely on old cloths to manage their periods, while some reportedly depend on partners to access sanitary pads, putting their safety at risk. Msichana mmoja alikuwa pia ameshikwa na hizi alikuwa ameshikwa na huu nini hasa kaka yake anataka kuva hizi pad akaenda kwa mtana mwingine ndo akashika hiyo mimba alipoenda huko alipoa kuja shule akaambwa atoke hiyo shule asiende tena ndo akaenda nyumbani Showing ownership of the challenges girls and women are facing the Kenyan government is leading initiatives to bring change These include distributing free sanitary pads in public primary schools since 2017 and drafting a national policy on menstrual health and hygiene. But there is still much that needs to be done at all levels of society. For me, the issue of breaking the silence and letting girls be aware about menstruation and more so that it's a natural process that they need not be ashamed about, that is what is very important. Teachers, carers, parents and adolescent boys and girls should all be encouraged to speak more openly about menstruation. Pia vijana wanasili waingizwe ajue. Kipi ni kizuri na kipi ni kibaya. The right to manage menstruation hygienically, safely, in private and with dignity is everyone's responsibility. Achieving menstrual health and hygiene is also key to achieving sanitation and hygiene for all and will take us closer to achieving the world's other sustainable development goals including good health and well-being, quality education, gender equality and economic growth. We still need to do more despite the improvements that we are seeing 
And for me, it's uh, calling upon champions, leaders, to get out of our comfort zones and get more to where it really matters, especially in the interior rural areas of our counties, of our communities, because that is where we need to create a lot of awareness and break the taboos. Along with strengthening policies, the government is working with partners to develop community programs that address these challenges. Men need to have factual information on menstruation because men will be able to adequately support girls when they're in the process of menstruation. We must confront unacceptable attitudes which continue to deny the basic rights of menstruators. Most importantly, we need genuine political will to improve their well-being and commitments at the highest level must translate into concrete actions, finance and resources. So I think it's high time that uh, we handle the issue of men menstrual hygiene management seriously. Kuna challenges mob tunapitianga kama demo ghetto. Eh? Na serikali na faitu angalia ngana.